Don't forget, Sooty, he'll be expecting our very best guest room. Oh, you've missed a speck of dust there, Scampy. Left hand down a bit, please, I think, Liana. Come on, Sue. More elbow grease. No slacking. <laughs> oh, hello. We're all very busy today because we're expecting an important visitor. The great Supremo. <laughs> He's one of the world's finest young magicians. Actually, me and the great Supremo go way back. Oh, yes. We were at magic school together. <laughs> In fact, I knew him when he was just plain old Nigel Winterbottom. <laughs> anyway, there's lots to get ready. Fortunately, I've got everything itemised and under control. <laughs> What's the matter? Why are you all standing around doing nothing? It's our impersonation of you, Richard. I'm not standing around doing nothing. Oh, no, you're standing around holding a clipboard doing nothing. Which is the worst kind of doing nothing there is. Well, somebody's got to take charge. We all know what we're doing. But the great Supremo, he's a perfectionist. He believes in observing the three C's. The what? The three C's. First of all, there's cleanliness. He can't abide dirt of any kind. That's why the hotel has got to be spotless from top to bottom. Secondly, competence. Now, he hates it when things go wrong. What's the third C? Oh, cake. Cake? Cake, yeah. It's his one weakness. He can't get enough of it. Now, remember, if we want his visit to be a success, we've got to remember our priorities. Richard, don't worry. We'll make sure nothing goes wrong, yes. won't we? Mm -hmm. we yes, will. Stampy and I will clean the hotel from top to bottom. Yep. He won't find so much as a speck of dust. Hey, and while they're doing that, you and Sooty can practice your best magic trick to impress him with your competence. Oh, great. <laughs> hey, what about cake? He'll definitely want cake. Ah, uh, Sweep's already hard at work in the kitchen. <gasps> Sweep? <laughs> oh, now I remember. Sweep? What on earth is that? A cake? Doesn't look much like a cake to me. <laughs> oh, you think you put in too much cement? You don't put cement in a cake. <laughs> oh, you do if it's a rock cake. Yeah. Yes, I quite agree, Sotty. Mm. Sweep, since today is such an important day, we feel it might be a good idea if someone else does the baking. Oh. But you like baking, yes. We know you like baking. But I'm afraid cement cakes aren't exactly going to impress the great Supremo now, are they? Mm. I'm sorry, but there it is. Mm. No baking. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Look, why don't I help Sweet bake the cake? Look, if we do it together, what can possibly go wrong? <laughs> there. Cool. That's got rid of Sweep's mess. It's spotless. Now all we have to do is clean the guest rooms, tidy the office, and vacuum the hotel from top to bottom. Oh, I hope we're going to get it finished in time, Scampy. Scampy? Scamp oh, Scampy, there you are. Where have you been? You look like you've been hit by a tornado. You've been clearing out the cutlery drawer? Well, I hope you've done a thorough job. Yes, good lad. <laughs> Can we come in? Oh, this kitchen looks spotless. Mm, yes, and we expect it to stay that way, don't we, Scampy? So, uh, no mess, OK? OK. <laughs> Does that mean you? <laughs> yes, sweet. Definitely you. Right. If we're going to impress the great Supremo, we need the right ingredients. So, let's have a look. <laughs> First of all, self-raising flour. <laughs> Tweep, that isn't self-raising flour. It is. Oh, very clever, but it's the wrong kind of flour. No, no, no. Look, we don't want flowers that grow in the garden. We want flour you bake in a cake. Look, I'll get the flour. You find the other ingredients. Says 
icing sugar, not ice in sugar. This isn't going to be easy. Ah, now at least you've got the milk. Is it pasteurised? your eyes. No, not past your eyes. I meant pasteurised. You know, treated so there aren't any germs in it. Look, I think I better prepare the ingredients. You can have the important job of mixing it all up. After all, if there's one thing Sweet's good at, it's mixing things up. <sighs> oh, it's no good. I can't reach it. Oh. What am I doing? I'm trying to reach that cobweb on the wall up there. Your new invention will solve the problem. What's that thing? It doesn't look much like a new invention to me. More like a tatty old vacuum cleaner. It's not an ordinary vacuum cleaner. It's a supersonic suck and blow. What's a supersonic suck and blow? It's like a vacuum cleaner, but a hundred times more powerful. <gasps> Excellent, Scampy. Hey, that sounds just like the thing we need if we're going to get the hotel clean before the great Supremo arrives. Let's see how it works, then. Go on. Oh, it's, 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 turn it off! Scampy! Oh, it's, 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 turn, turn, turn it off! Come on, Sooty. We've got to make a decision. What do you think the best trick would be to show the great Supremo? Um, oh, I know, I know, I've got it, I've got it. How about my famous Queen turning in to the King trick? <sighs> Rubbish. Oh, never mind. Um, what else? Oh, hang on. What about this one? The famous disappearing doves. Ta da! Where are the disappearing doves? They disappeared? <laughs> I can see that. Disappeared where? You don't know, do you? <laughs> I thought as much. Now, remember, we're not supposed to be losing things today. Come on, come on, we need a really good trick. One that'll really take his breath away. Hmm. Oh, what? You've got one. Just a thing. Oh, what is it? The magic hat trick. Oh, brilliant. Do you know, I love magic. It's that feeling that anything can happen. Oh, oh dear. That's awful, Sooty. <laughs> Do you know, I wouldn't like to be the person that's got to wear that hat. <laughs> I am the person that's got to wear that hat. Hang on, I'm going to get covered in nasty pink gunge. No, why not? It's magic. Oh, of course, yeah. I was forgetting that, wasn't it? It's magic. <laughs> Watch this magic, boys and girls. You will not believe this gunge disappearing trick. Watch this now. It's... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> How did that happen? I didn't give you time to fetch the magic wand. Oh, no, sorry. Of course not. I forgot. Go on, let's try it again. Go on. <laughs> you see, it's very important, boys and girls, for magicians to always have their magic wands. I forgot that. First rule of magic. All right, where's the wand, then? All right, let's get the wand. There we are, Sooty. Right, it's going to work this time. Off you go. Oh, brilliant. It's going to work this time. It's going to work this time. We've done the wand. Watch this gun disappear, everybody. No! <laughs> now what went wrong? It's supposed to happen. What do you mean it's supposed to happen? It's part of the trick. I don't like the idea of that. Oh, it's got to go wrong the first time, so when it works, the great Supremo will be really impressed. He won't be impressed. He'll just think it's gone wrong. Now, come on, Sooty, we've got to get this trick to work first time. There's no second chance. That's his motto. Come on, now, let's do it properly. Go! Well, we finally got all the right ingredients for the cake. Now all we need is a wonder spoon to mix it together. Where are the wooden spoons? In the drawer, of course. They aren't. They must be. Ah, I bet Sue and Scampy tidied them away. Look, don't worry, they'll be here somewhere. <sighs> what are we going to do? If we can't bake a cake, the great Supremo will think that Richard is a failure. Yeah. He can eat the rock cake. Well, I don't think so, Sweep. You need a pneumatic drill to bite into that. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a problem. What do you mean? You 
try too hard. This is a disaster. No, oh, no, it isn't. We just have to think creatively. Look, if we haven't got a wooden spoon to mix the cake, then we'll just have to use something else instead. Like what? Like something that works like a spoon but isn't a spoon. Yes. A bone? Well, I don't think a bone's very hygienic. just trying to make me look stupid, aren't you? You're not trying. You're succeeding. It's hard to argue with that, isn't it? Hmm. Come on, we've got to get this right. What's the great Supremo going to think if he sees me like this? Oh, oh. <laughs> hello, Scampy. <laughs> oh, what do you want? What are we doing? We're practising our magic trick, but it's actually not going as well as we'd hoped. <laughs> hey? Can you help? Can you help? Wow, what a great idea. Sooty, we've got ourselves a volunteer. I know, here's a little hat. Go on, get the stuff. <laughs> Fill it up. That's very, oh yes, very good, very good. <laughs> right then, how about that? What do you have to do? Ah, well, when Sooty gives me the nod, I'm going to put this hat on your head. <laughs> when you get covered in nasty pink gunge? No, 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 you won't, Scampy, no, you won't, will Because... It's magic. <laughs> Come back here, Scampy. Come on, you trust us, don't you? No? All right. Well, you may be right, but uh, we'll give it a go. Off you go, Sooty. <laughs> right, here we go. Ready? <gasps> wow! Wow! Look! It's worked! <laughs> Wait till a great Supremo gets a load of this. I wonder where all that stuff goes to. Very funny. Come on, we've got to get washed and changed and ready for the great Supremo. Uh oh, what a sausage brain. Sweep thinks Sooty's magic wand is a stick. Sweep, you found a stick. It's nice to see he got something right for a change. You're making quite a mess, though. It'll be worth it. This is the best cake you've ever made. Well, that's not saying a lot, is it? We'll just have to cross our fingers and pray the great Supremo likes it. Oh, have you finished all the cleaning? Yes. In fact, I've cleaned the hotel three times thanks to Scampy's help. Um. Good, good, good. Uh, what about the cake? In the oven. Oh, excellent. You know, he should be here any minute. Hey, I'll go and wait for him, shall I? Yes, yes. Okay. Do you know, I've got a feeling this visit is going to be a great success. <laughs> what? A speck of dust. Oh, he's not going to notice that. He might. Oh. Oh, hello, Scampy. Did somebody mention a speck of dust? Yes, look over there. Sounds like a job for the supersonic suck and blow. Well, don't just stand there. Go and fetch it. <laughs> Good. Oh, Richard, you're going to regret this. <gasps> oh, hello. You must be the great Supremo. That is me. And, my dear, watch very closely. This is for you. You are going to be amazed. All I do is push it inside. And I take this. And this is for you. How did you do that? It's sheer talent, that's what it is. I trust everything's ready for me. Yes, yes. If you'd like to follow me, we've laid on a nice surprise. <laughs> OK, Scampy, turn it on. Richard, listen. No. Turn it off! Turn it off! <laughs> Nigel Mater, uh, how are you? I've always known you were jealous of me, Richard. But to stoop as low as to ruin my best suit. And what's this? Oh, thanks. We've been looking for that. Looking? You mean it was lost? I was told you ran a tiny and well-organised hotel. I should have stayed at the Ritz. They know how to treat a famous artiste at the Ritz. What's it? And dust. I can't abide by dust. It gets right up my nose. Yes, I know how it feels. But what about my adoring public? What are they going to say when they see me covered in dust, dusting? Oh, look, 
look, look, don't upset yourself. Things could be a lot worse. Ow! Richard, why don't you and Sooty show the great Supremo your magic trick? Yeah, come on, Nigel, on. mate. Sit yourself down here and be prepared to be amazed. This had better be good. Now, you won't believe your eyes, I promise. Can I borrow your hat? If you must. Would you look after Ferdinand for me, please? Oh, sure. Right then. Ladies and gentlemen, the disappearing gunge trick. Hooray! Fetch the gunge, please, Sooty. <laughs> right then. Watch this. I fill your hat with gunge. It's my best hat. Don't worry, sir, for with one wave of his magic wand, Sooty will now amaze you. <laughs> Well, come on. Come on, I haven't got all day, you know. Sorry about this. Did you just say sorry? Uh, yes. I've never had to say sorry in my whole life. Sorry. Oof. Come on, Susie, where's the wand? You can't find it. What? It was on the table and now it's gone. Well, oh. he's hidden it, isn't he? He's hidden it on purpose to humiliate me even further. Why would he want to do that? Because I am the great supremo famed throughout the land, and he is just a two-bit incompetent... Oh, stop blivering, you snivelling little big head! I haven't come here to be insulted! Why? Where do you normally go? You're not allowed to talk to me like that! Oh, yes, I can. Why, if Richard had half your talent... He has got half my talent! That's why he is jealous! Well, for your information, we're glad Richard's a nobody. Uh, oh, Sue? Oh, sorry, Richard, that didn't quite come out the way I planned. You see, even your friends don't rate you. Nothing could keep me here any further. <coughs> cake! Not now, Sweep! Cake! Did someone say cake? Sweep, he um, baked you a cake. Well, I want it, and I want it now. Hey! Hey! Do you hear me? I want the cake! Give me my cake! <laughs> well, he did ask for it. That <laughs> is the final straw. I'll never forgive you for this. No, I'm sure you won't. Oh, and I tell you something else. I don't know how I've been treated like this. It's an outrage. It's just disgraceful. It, it, it's delicious. Delicious? Why, I tasted some cakes in my time, but this one, it's beyond compare. So light, so succulent. Why, why, I feel as though I'm floating. <laughs> Magic! How can this be possible? I don't know. I think it's a cake sweep. You've baked a magic cake. <coughs> yes, you have. <coughs> Must have been your lucky stick. Oh, sweep, this isn't a lucky stick. It's Sooty's magic wand! <laughs> that was amazing! Look, not a speck of dust! Oh, in all my years of magic, I've never witnessed such miracles. Richard, my dear friend, I've misjudged you. You have? Oh, yes. Anyone who can perform tricks like that must be truly special. Oh, oh, oh it wasn't entirely down to me. Take my word for it, it's not easy being a genius, you know. But from now on, any time I'm performing round here, I'll always stay at Sooty Heights. Oh, goody. We'll look forward to that. <laughs> More cake. More cake. Don't mind if I do. Here I go again. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>